Yo, what's going on, everybody? Jason Trio here with Bitrio.com. Today is Friday, January 21st, 2022. Hey, and yesterday I was doing a little intro here saying the date. And I said it was 2021, no. How many of y'all do that? I remember that through school, right? The the new year changes, you're in school or something, and you're writing down 2021, like the previous year on your paper, and you're like, oh shit. You're doing that for like the first few months. So that's the first time actually, at least that I can recall, that I fucked up the year. I'm sure I fucked up the date before, but I don't ever remember fucking up the whole goddamn year. But yesterday on my intro, we did it. It was 2021 yesterday. Not today, baby. We back in 2022. We are back. And we're back with some DraftKings today. We have the NFL DraftKings divisional round playoffs. And we're going to be trying to make some money. All right, let's see here. NFL what daily lines let's take a look at the lines here and see who is doing what all right saturday january 22nd that is tomorrow we got the Bengals at the titans and the titans are home they are three and a half point favorites the over under is 47 and a half okay Okay, that's an interesting one. I don't know, dude. Are the Bengals going to upset Joe Burrow? Is about to do. I, yo, I'm just looking right now. And na- and I'm looking at DraftKings as well. Looking at Joe Burrow here at 6,600. Talking about. Yo, juicy. Talking about Joe Burrow. Spicy. Extra spice. How is he only 6,600? Can we double spat? Double stack. Big Joe. I mean, look at the guy. The guy does beast. He beasts. And the matchup here, I'm pretty sure that the Titans funnel. They try to stop the run and they just give up the pass. It seems like it. Or at least that's how it used to be. And looking at these stats here, Titans pass defense is ranked 25th in the league. Their rushing defense, however, is ranked seconds so they are really good at stopping the run only giving up 84 yards per game that's pretty good good enough to be the second best run d in the league i wonder how they are against pass catching backs because the running back for the Bengals, joe mixon gets a lot of targets five targets eight targets and six targets in his last three games now against denver san fran four five six he only had one two one target so not great in those targets in those games but you know i mean if you look at it across the the whole season i would say joe makes he probably gets like averages like four targets a game it looks like here just looking at this some games he has some stinkers only one target but that could be game flow or you know i don't know I don't watch these games at all. I just try to make money off of these things. But starting off, I should probably watch them, right? But hey, I'm just not really interested. Ever since I learned about Bitcoin, y'all know the deal. You know the story. Actually, it was before I learned about Bitcoin. How about that? Before I learned about Bitcoin, I gave up on the NFL. But I still like to gamble on them. And hey, I started making videos, so I figured, look, let me incorporate this. If I'm going to spend my time making these lineups, I might as well talk about it and make a video. So that way I can flex on people and be like, yo, I won that shit. And I talked about it. I predict these things. Mm-hmm. We predict these things. We're Connor at. Connor at. All right, next game on the slate is the San Francisco 49ers traveling to the Green Bay Packers. Now, this, yo, there's just nostalgia all around in these NFL playoffs this year. First, you got the Niners at the Cowboys. 
Yeah. That's nostalgic as shit. Now you got the Niners at the Packers. Same deal. These long time rivalries from my childhood that I'm just like, dude, when the Niners were good, it was basically the 49ers and the Cowboys ripping everybody. It was like the Cowboys had a dynasty, the Niners had a dynasty, and then everybody else was in between. The Bills, too, you know? The Bills went to four straight Super Bowls, but they didn't win that shit. Could this be the year? So the Packers are five and a half point favorites at home against the 49ers, and the over under total is 47. Do I like that game? I'm not sure. Aaron Rodgers, 7,100. Has he played the 49ers yet this season? Yes, he has. And he only scored 19 points. Now he was 6,300 in that game. That was week three of the regular season. 6,300, 19 points. Now he's 7,100. Let's see what the matchup talks about here. The 49ers, hey, they got good defense. The 49ers do have good defense, ranking six in passing defense and six in rushing defense. Where's the third six? Hey! But they still give up points. You know, the Niners still do give up points. So I was a little bit scared of that. Like, uh, hey, the 49ers, you know, but... They, they give up points. They give up points. All right, next game on the slate is the Los Angeles Rams traveling to Tampa Bay to take on Tom Brady and the Bucks. The Bucks are two and a half point favorites, and the total over under is 48 points. Now, this game can be interesting. You know, Tom Brady, he's only 6,800 here, 200 more than Joe Burrow. I might, you know, I'm going to do multiple lineups. I'm going to do multiple lineups this week. What do I got? I got uh, a couple hundred bucks still in my account. And the divisional round, this this probably is the last round because then the, after this, what happens, right? It's just the conference championships. It's just two games. It's just two games after this. So we got to, what do we got? What do we got? Four games here? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got four games. This is really good. This is good. This is where I like to be, baby. I'm going to make killer lineup. I'm going to make killer lineup this week. So Tom Brady up against Matthew Stafford. Oh, this is tough, dude, because look. Passing defense for Tampa, not looking so good. Ranked 22 in the league. Russian defense, pretty good. Ranked third. But the Rams. Actually, is this even true? So I don't even know how much validity. How, how is this true? Because DraftKings is telling me that DraftKings? DraftKings! Yo, kinky. DraftKings is telling me that the Rams passing defense is 21, but you know they got the dude Jalen fucking dude. What's his name? I don't even know his name. Ramsey? I think that's his name. He be locking dudes down in man coverage. So maybe you got to figure out like, all right, who the fuck is going to, he, who's he going to be lined up on? Maybe like Mike Evans or something? Look at Cooper Cup. Oh, Cooper Cup's kind of cheap though from the Rams. What? How's Cooper Cup only 8,600? When he's been in the 9Ks for the last one, two, three, four, four weeks. Dude, Cooper Cup's the cheapest he's been since week 14. One, two, three, four, five. Five weeks ago. And what? He hasn't disappointed. I mean, I guess last game against Arizona, he only had 17 points on 9K salary. So, yeah, that's pretty bad. But this is the playoffs, baby. They ready to go. Tampa Bay's rested. I do know that. All right, let's take a look at the final game on the slate. The Buffalo Bills at the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs are one and a half point favorites on a whopping 54 point over under. Vegas is calling this game as the smacker of the weekend. Now, how much trust can we put in that since last time... Not too long ago, just last week, just last week, Vegas had put the 49ers Cowboys game at 51 points. And I got suckered into that shit, stacked them up, 
And guess what? No! It wasn't 51 points. It was like, what, 40 points? 41 points? Something like that? Now, of course, they don't know everything, and they could. Oh, shit. 40 chess, bro. It's 40 chess! They could be setting me up here. They could be setting us up. Talk about, yeah, we're going to play him out last week. We know that ain't going to be the highest. We're going to bet the under. And now, with the Bills Chiefs game, that shit's going over. It could. It could because check this dude out right here. They got one of these guys over here, right? Who is he? Patrick Mahomes. He got five touchdowns. He's going to throw for five touchdowns. He don't give a fuck. He's slanging and banging. He's slanging a rock, dude. Patrick Mahomes dancing on TikTok and shit. He dancing on Sean Taylor's grave. Fuck that dude. I'm dancing on your ass. How about that? Yeah, we about to dance on Sean. Oh, boogie dance, boogie dance. Dancing on Sean Taylor. Oh, that's fucked up, bro. How you gonna dance on Sean Taylor? That's fucked up. We about to, yo, the, the Redskins setting up a memorial for Sean Taylor. This dude about to start break dancing on that shit. But the fuck off of that? Who the hell? What's wrong with y'all these days? Don't nobody give a fuck. That's Rodney Dangerfield shit. No respect. Got no respect for these motherfuckers. Don't nobody give a fuck. In today's day and age, man, people don't give a fuck. They don't value shit. All they value is that, huh, 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 huh. That quick ass attention, right? Look at me, bruh. Look at me, bruh. Sit your bitch ass down. And that ain't Patrick Mahomes. That's his brother. That's a little bitch ass brother. He needs that clout, dude. It's like, yo, imagine that, right? Your brother's famous as shit. Uh, I don't know like is it a personality trait and shit because if I would think like if my brother's famous I'd be chilling I wouldn't be like let me try to get my fame from doing stupid shit I would just be chilling like hey can I can I get some money bruh can I get some money though I mean I want some money I take some money but I'll just be chilling and you can have you're the dude hey you're the fucking dude you in the NFL I ain't shit I don't need no clout but can you buy me a house, bro? <laughs> I'd be like that. Hey, let me get a house, son. Hey, bro. Hey, remember all those times you used to fuck me up when we was a kid? You get a fucking Lambo or something, man. Dude. So Patrick Mahomes could go off and throw for five TDs. We don't know. We don't know. That's why we're here. We're out here making predictions. Let me gaze into my crystal ball here. All right, you know what? Just looking at it though, Joe Burrow, he's about to bury the Titans. Now, I don't really like going with a dude not coming off a bye. It kind of makes me want to go with Aaron Rodgers because Rodgers is based as fuck. Rodgers don't play that shit, man. He's pure blood. Rodgers straight up pure blood. He ain't fucking with that shit. He ain't no dummy. And he ain't scared to say it. Pure blood, yo. Represent pure blood. That's a pure blood right there. Look at that. You looking at a pure blood man right there. Don't give a fuck what race you are. Pure bloods unite. Shit. Don't fall into that Kwame Brown shit. We're Kwame Brown trying to be separating dudes on race. Uh-uh. Nah, that's short-sighted. He caught in it. He caught in the matrix, bruh. You gotta dig deeper than that shit. Ain't about race. It's about blood. It's about blood. Pure blood. I want your blood. Yeah, you damn right. That shit valuable as shit, dog. All these fucking clowns. All these fucking sheep. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, oh, y'all run an experiment? Oh, hell, oh, yeah, 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 sign me up, bro. Oh, two, oh, three, oh, four, yeah, 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 let me get that. I get that. Four of them Jonies? Yeah, yeah. How, when my next one? When, when my fifth? They get fifth shot? Huh? How many of that? Oh, the fifth one's not out? All right, just let me know. Put me on a waiting list for that fifth one, Doug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to fuck with that. Oh, y'all don't know what it's about to do to me in five years? Oh, fuck it. I'm rolling with it. Let's go, baby. Nah, hell nah. Ain't fucking with all that shit. Dudes is stupid as fuck. What's wrong with y'all? Fuck is wrong. Idiot. People don't even think. 
It is guided, right? Just, just fucking sheep farmers, yo. Put the fucking sheep dog. Chase these dumbass motherfuckers. The sheep just running and shit. They don't know where or for what. They just doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Line up. I'll light up. Go. Fuck. It's a dog. <laughs> Crazy as shit, huh? Crazy times we live in, man. Crazy times. Stick to your guns, bruh. Stick to your guns. All right, so we might do that, but yo, fuck. Just, just right off the bat, I'm, I'm feeling my boy, Big Joe Burrow. <clears throat> Big Joe Burrow. And who's he going to throw it to? Big Dog Jamar Chase. Motherfucking Jamar Chase stuff. Now, I played, look, at Cle... I know. It was it KC? At KC. Okay, tell y'all this story. I'm sure y'all watched the vi fucking video. I put, I left Jamar Chase on the bench at KC because he was 7,600. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep Jamar Chase on the bench. And I picked up this dude, T Boy Higgins. And look, T Boy Higgins had nine points, and Jamar Big Dog Chase at 58 points. Oh my goodness. Oh my good, 58. Points, yo, how? How you do that, Jamal? Dude had fucking 266 yards and three touchdowns. Can y'all spread the ball? Can y'all share that shit? So we're going with Jamar Chase. We're going with Jamar Chase. Now the next question is, who we going with next? T Higgins? Ah, T, T, T Dog. I wanna like you, but it's tough. It's real tough. Look, T Dog, 46 points though. What happens? Week? That was week 16. Did Jamar Chase play? Man, Joe Burrow is confusing the shit out of me. He did. So you just never know. You just never know with these guys. They could go off. Let's see if Tyler Boyd could do something. What happened to Tyler Boyd? Actually, nothing. Actually, nothing happened to Tyler Boyd. He does his thing, too. I just thought Tyler Boyd was the dude was the man coming up after AJ Green? Wasn't Tyler Boyd the, Boyd the man? Then you got Jamar Chase and T Higgins. I don't know. I haven't been keeping up. Hold on. They got Mike Thomas? Oh, no. It's somebody else, huh? He off the streets. He just smoked a blunt. Look at him. Bro, I don't even know where I am right now. Snap my picture real quick. I'm getting paid, though. All right. How about a tight end? Who's up, my? Damn, he gets targets. What? Dude, the Cincinnati just air it out all fucking day. Last week against the Raiders, the tight end Uzama had six targets. Jamar Chase had 12 targets. T. Higgins had four targets. And Tyler Boyd had five targets. How the hell you pick on this? How do you pick? How do you know who to pick? What the hell? I mean, I got to run it back with a Titan, I guess. Julio Jones. Julio Jones. Let's take a look at Julio Jones. Jones recorded five receptions on nine targets for 58 yards and a touchdown in Sunday's 28-25 win over the Texans. Jones was forced to miss the Titans' Week 17 game against the Dolphins while on the reserve Cerveza sickness list, which may have also given him some needed time to let his hamstring heal. Ooh, yo, and I picked Julio Jones at least once this season. He, he didn't do nothing at all. I think that's when he got hurt. Maybe he left the game. He, Julio Jones turned in the best performance of his opening season in Tennessee. Damn, he... Week 18, the last game of the season, he had his best game of the season. Best game of the year. Yo, I mean, it's kind of like a sleeper. Who's going to pick Julio? Everybody's going to be on AJ Brown, right? Most likely, everybody's going to be on AJ Brown. I think we can run Julio... What's the line in this game, the total? 47 and a half. All right. All right, what are we going to do, man? Who do we go here? Do we go T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, or Uzuma? I don't know. Like, they're all just doing fucking good. 
Could I possibly run a triple stack, dude? Higgins and Boyd? But look at this Uzuma guy. He gets a shitload of targets. Can y'all just make it easy on me, Bengals? Y'all dudes are not making it easy on me. Now, you know what? I mean, look, yeah, Boyd got five targets, but damn, look at him, though. Touchdown machine. One, two, three, four touchdowns in his last four games. Now, I don't like that because that means, you know, maybe, well, he's, he's touchdown dependent, but he's coming through. Not getting a lot of yards, though, but he does sometimes 85 and 96, you see down here in his uh, third week 16 and week 15. Man, this is a really tough decision, but I think... You can probably go T. Higgins. Or can you, though? T. Higgins, bro. Is he just falling the hell off? Oh, my goodness. T. Higgins, bro. Yo. Am I just going to run Tyler Boyd over T. Higgins? Julio Jones and Tyler Boyd. Talk about fucking punts. Talk about punts, dude. All right. All right. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick it in there for now. Let's take a look at the defenses here. And see if we can throw a good defense. A home defense? Does it have to be? I mean, the last Millionaire Maker winner, I think, it was it the Eagles defense? I think they picked, like, the quarterback facing the Eagles. Stacked a receiver, like, with that. And then picked the Eagles defense. And they won a the million dollars. The Eagles defense had, like, three points. But it doesn't matter, right? Just pick the, de the cheapest defense. I'm not sure. I don't want to do that. I kind of want to pick somebody like the Packers, though. Could I pick the Packers? What about the Bucks? What do they talk about? 3,100. I don't mind paying that. They played the Rams in week three. They had zero points. It was a 58 point. Damn. They lost 24 to 34. Had zero points. Let's see what the Rams did against the Bucks when they played. Three points. 34 to 24. So the Rams Bucks could be a shootout. The Rams Bucks could be a shootout. Fournette's on IR. That sucks. We played Keyshawn Vaughn last week, and he didn't disappoint. He had, he had 17 rushing attempts, two catches, 14 points. I mean, he had a touchdown. And not bad. But the dude that went off was fucking Geo, dog. Giovanni Bernard. 13 rushes, seven targets. You know Geo. You know Geo comes out of the backfield and catches the ball. You know that. In front of Bengals, dog. You know Giovanni Bernard be doing that shit. Be coming out there catching it. Oh, man. I don't know. Who's this R. Jones dude? Ronald Jones. He looks like a big dog. He, like a, he don't catch the ball, right? Yeah, he's just a big hammerhead dude. Put me in. Put me in on the goal line, coach. I'm running that shit in. I'm about to run some dudes over. He's not practicing either. Uh, all right. How about the Rams? Cam Akers. I just saw a video actually. Cam Akers trucked somebody on the Cardinals. Was that last week? He trucked some dude, put him out. He did. He trucked some dude. Is he the main is he the main man? Oh, Sony Michelle. I picked Sony Michelle. So Cam Akers, Sony Michelle. You don't know. You don't know about these dudes. These split backs. I can't fuck with these split backfields. Man, people, they're making it so hard on me. I need I need Aaron Jones. Right? Do I just want Aaron Jones? Hmm. I think I want Aaron Jones. And then what's that mean? I picked the Packers? Oh, the most expensive defense. Well, the Packers are five and a half point favorites. Not that it means much, I don't think. But you know what? I'm going to go Aaron Jones and the Packers. Let's run that stack. Now we got to find another running back. 
It is tough. Are we going to run Singletary from the Bills? <clears throat> I mean, you know, Singletary does get targets here. I think I'm going to go Singletary. Let's go, Singletary. Singletary. And what? Now we got to go two players from what the chiefs we don't have any chiefs we don't have any bucks i kind of want to play george kittle for a bounce back a little bit you know like he didn't do anything last week he hasn't done anything in forever george george let's check out the analysis here from DraftKings. the tight end continues to pay the price for jimmy garoppolo's thumb injury all right, so Jimmy sucks. All right, well, that's all I need to know here. Could I run Uzuma? That would be crazy. So Kelsey, right? Kelsey just is good. Playing the Bills. <sighs> the star tight end, Travis Kelsey, will face a stiff test in the AFC Divisional Round as the Bills have surrendered the fourth... Fourth fewest fantasy points to opposing tight ends all season. Okay. Well, did they play each other before? I think they might have. Yeah, they did. And he had 10 catches, touchdown, 57 yards. He still didn't do good. He still didn't do good, though. How about Gronk? The veteran tight end, Rob Gronkowski, should have a chance to remain <clears throat> as heavily involved as he was Sunday at minimum for the duration of the postseason season, considering the shorthanded state of the team's pass catching core. Hey, what happened? Where Antonio Brown at? Gronkowski's now next opportunity to build on a prolific playoff connection with Tom Brady comes next week in the divisional clash versus the Rams or the Cardinals. And we know it's the Rams. Did they play? They did play, right? They played the Rams. Gronk had eight targets. Uh, I'm going to go with him. And then my flex is 5,100. AJ Dillon. Oh, that sucks. I can't play both running backs for the Packers. Oh, come on. They split two. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. He started in place of Aaron Jones. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is so hard picking players, dude. Oh, I want this guy, KC. Edwards, hello. Or not. Whatever. McKinnon went off too, right? We're going to run McKinnon? 26 points last week against Pittsburgh. The Chiefs three-headed offensive monster shown in the finale of Sunday's media playoff schedule, but McKinnon was surprisingly fourth standout. Uh, blah, blah. Maybe McKinnon. Maybe McKinnon does something here. I mean, there's not many options. Maybe I go Dawson Knox, actually, instead. He did good. He had two touchdowns last week. 89 yards. You know what? Maybe I run double tight end and I kick out Singletary. And I look for 6,100 running back. Oh, there's nobody. E. Mitch. Maybe I go E. Mitch. He gets a lot of rushes. Fuck it. There it is. There it is. There's a the team. Packers defense with the opposing running back. <laughs> what? Hey, it can still work. All right. That's going to be it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Later.